Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is the 26th of February and in about half an hour or so, Lewis and I are actually heading off to an auction. So in this video, I thought I would give you a little bit of a house update. And if you haven't been following me for the last couple of months, um, you're probably wondering, you know, where we stand with our house and what our plans actually are. So I'm really sorry if you can hear cockatoos in the background, Australia. Um, so Lewis and I bought this house that we're currently in two years ago, just over two years ago. And unfortunately we have just outgrown it. Uh, Lewis works purely from home now. He was working at a co-working space for a couple of months, but then the pandemic hit. So he's just been working at home. And so for him, there's no separate, I have gloves on cause I'm, I'm cleaning the kitchen. Um, there's no separation between work and home. So we feel like we need to upsize just to make, um, I don't know, the home a little bit more enjoyable for Lewis, I guess. And, um, yeah, just because we don't have any spare rooms, like we have one, but that's an office. So for the last couple of weeks or kind of like months, I guess we've been looking to upgrade not upgrade, sorry, upsize our house. So we currently live in a two bedroom unit in Melbourne, Victoria, and we purchased it two, just over two years ago. So we're looking for a three or four bedroom with two bathrooms. So uh, a bigger place and with a bigger living area, big kitchen, all that sort of stuff. Now we have been looking at this house for the last three weeks, I think it is. Um, it's only kind of just a couple minutes up from where we live. It's got a beautiful outlook of the city, like the, the view you're paying for the view. It is absolutely amazing. And when we head off to the auction, I'll see if I can put in some, um, vision of what the view actually looks like. Now the house that we're interested in is a three bedroom, two bathroom, one living area and a two car carport. The downside to the house that we're currently looking at is that there's pretty much no backyard. It's on a huge slant. So there's a decking outside and then right out from the deck, it's pretty much just hill. So the house is, it's on stilts because it's pretty much just on the base of a mountain and then it overlooks Melbourne city. Um, and then you can see like all the suburbs and stuff. Um, now we are heading to the auction. We did, uh, last week, I think last Saturday, we put in a verbal, a very, very, very good verbal offer, but unfortunately the vendors have rejected it. Um, they don't want to do private sale. They want to go to auction. Lewis and I don't really want to go to auction because there's just so much risk associated with auction. Um, and for us personally, we would be more comfortable paying more through a private offer than what we would with auction. So today our plan is we haven't, we've kind of discussed our like benchmark for option, like our price limit, um, which is really important if you are going to auction, have a set limit and stick to it. Um, and it is much, much lower than what we would um, have put in for a private offer. Now you have to pay 10% on the day, which is fine. Um, but for us, our main concern is finance. And if the finance falls through, they take that 10% and there's also the potential for people to sue you. So that's probably our, that's actually our biggest concern. And what the pre-approval that we have now is based on Lewis's income and my full-time income. But unfortunately the last couple of weeks, I'm not full-time anymore. I've gone, um, casual relief teaching. So I'm pretty much a contractor now. So if they were to ask for our pay slips again, so if the banks were to ask, um, that's a huge concern for us because um, they might reject um, our finance or the finance that they're willing to give us might be way, way lower than what we need. So that is a huge concern for us. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna finish cleaning the kitchen and then I'll see if I can give you like some sort of image or some video of the auction. I might not be able to give you too much because privacy reasons and all, but I'm going to check in with you guys after the auction, see how we go, see if we actually got the house. Like I'm really hoping that, um, that we do, but if we don't like, you know, that's okay. There is at this stage only one other bidder that we are aware of because the real estate agent said that there's only been one person that has asked for a building and a building and pest inspection. So that's, good news. Um, and if it gets passed in, it means we can also have the opportunity to negotiate a private, 
uh, offer with the vendor. So yeah, fingers crossed for us guys and I'll check back in with you after the auction. All right, so we're back home now. I'm just having a like collagen supplement drink that I thought I'd drink while I'd talk to you about it. Um, not successful. So we got back about, I don't know, five minutes ago, if that. Um, the auction was really good for the seller and the buyer, but um, unfortunately, no, like not successful for us, but that's okay. Um, it actually started off really slow and then, so two people started bidding and then a third man kind of jumped in and was sort of like, yeah, all right, like another 10,000, another 10,000. And then another couple jumped in at the last minute um, once it had kind of gone over our um, price limit of what we would be willing to pay. And then, yeah, like the, the going back and forward, it didn't take too long, but one of the couples just kept taking forever to decide if they were going to put a bid in or not, which I felt really bad for the other bidder because he was... I think getting a little bit frustrated. Um, but yeah, it went for $73,000 more than our price limit, um, which is obviously really good for the vendor, just not good for us. Um, we feel okay about it um, because we know that we wouldn't have paid that amount of money for that particular home. Uh, the view is, which I, I did put a clip before, um, is absolutely amazing. And you are basically paying for the view. But for the actual price of the home, I think it was a little bit higher. Um, like I wouldn't have paid that amount of money for that little of home. So you are pretty much just paying for the view. And then on the way home, we saw like just a couple of streets down from where we live. There was an open home and the agent there was like trying to get us to get an appraisal for our house. And we were like, well, why not? We can compare between him and another agent that we're getting in to have a look at our house and what we could potentially get it for. Um, but yeah, like a little bit disappointed in the home that we didn't get because it's absolutely beautiful. It was so, so light filled. Um, but yeah, we just weren't prepared to pay that amount of money for that home. So on to the next, which is okay. Uh, next weekend we might go for um, another look at some houses and I might take you with us but yeah I think because it's auction like we just don't feel that comfortable going to auction just because there is so much risk involved our preference is obviously to go private um, just because you it is subject to um, finance and building and pest and stuff um, so we like we can go to auction if we want to but our preference is definitely um, private uh, private sale um, and if you have bought an auction before like leave me a comment down below how it went because I'm so curious as to why people like I don't know it's just because you pay 10% on the day which can be like a hundred thousand or like eighty to a hundred thousand dollars but then if you don't get finance you lose that money so I'm really interested to know if anyone if that has actually happened to anybody or if you know of anybody that has happened that it has happened to let me know because we we're really interested like we we really do want to buy a house um in the next couple of months um and yeah we obviously want to sell the home that we are living in so when we actually sell our home we are undecided if we would do it private or auction like to us it doesn't really matter because we would get the money anyway but um to to buy we definitely would prefer to go through private sale just that safety net of subject to finance and all the other conditions that you can put in on a contract um but yeah on to the next um yeah not too sad about it well i mean a little bit sad about it because it was such a nice house but yeah we'll just have to keep keep going so this afternoon we're heading down um, to Cape Patterson in um, southern Victoria, just down to a little beach um, town down there. And yeah, it'll be a really nice end, uh, end to the weekend. 
But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope that you did enjoy it. Thanks for following on our house update. I'll update you again if we find a home that we are willing to put another offer in for. But yeah, um, thanks for listening. Bye.